Every app I'm about to show you each gave me this moment of, wow, that's cool, and I really want to tell people about this. So first things first, there's one called Skip Track Settings, which once installed lets you go back and forward through whatever song is playing just by holding your volume keys. So the phone can be in your pocket, screen off, and it's still going to work. And you don't lose full control over volume, you can just use multiple taps to increase or decrease it. Firefox Send is an app that lets you send any file anywhere, and you've probably seen a fair few apps like this, but this has a bunch of traits that really elevate it. For starters, it's got no ads. You can set conditions after which the files will expire, for example, after they've been up for seven days or after they've been downloaded a certain number of times. And unlike other file transfer services, the other person doesn't need to download any software. When you send a file, they just get a direct download link. Around Sound is a voice recorder, and its greatest strength is not really in its functionality, because it just records your voice like any other one. It comes into its own because of its ease. You see, when you install the app, you can place it as a quick toggle in your status bar. And so, anytime, anywhere, with just two touches on your screen, you can be recording. And then with one more, you can stop. And the app also makes it pretty easy to share whatever you've recorded with your friends. I also wanted to mention Abstract, which has kind of been doing the rounds recently. It's a wallpaper app, but it's made by the same artist that created the default OnePlus home screens, and so everything has that same level of polish and nuance, and they're all in 4K resolution. Plus, the app itself is beautifully done, with again, no ads at all. So then we've got AI Cut, and the best way I can describe it is as a smart photo editor. It's an editor that lets you fiddle with the usual things like filters, like saturation, but all whilst knowing which part of your picture is foreground and which part is background. Because the app has this understanding, it lets you tweak these two things separately. So I could ramp up the colours in the scene behind me here, whilst not upping the saturation on my face. Because yeah, I don't want to look like a tomato. We've also got a paid app on this list too. Storage Organizer basically gives you a bunch of different ways to yeah, no prizes for guessing. Organize your storage. So one of the more important tricks here is its ability to scan for duplicate files, for example where you've accidentally downloaded the same app twice. But it can go a step further by removing corrupted files as well as empty folders and what it calls useless files, or files that are no longer useful to your phone. Alright, you might well have seen the Spot On Alarm, which lets you wake up in the morning to a song chosen from Spotify. Well, the company's latest edition is the same thing, but even better, because it can find any song from YouTube, so you don't need any kind of premium membership. You just set your alarm like you would on any other alarm app, and then pick your tune from YouTube, as if it was already downloaded on your phone. Rise is an application all about sleeping better. It's a combination of meditation exercises, muscle relaxation tutorials, and a sleep diary for you to keep track of how you're doing. And it's all presented in this honestly beautiful interface. I do think some parts of the app are a little gimmicky, and you do need to pay to get a lot of its features, but I have spent some time with the meditations themselves, and I was really impressed. I nearly fell asleep during the middle of the day. Ever since the birth of the notch, people have been fighting this battle to make it as little of an eyesore as possible. We've got an app, Battery Notch, and it kind of helps by making it at least more useful. It turns your punch hole or your notch into a battery indicator, and there's a massive amount of customization. I can't think of a single phone's cutout that this thing wouldn't cover, and if you did get the pro version, you can start fiddling with colours and animation settings. There's something about the way Scribble animates your photos that really makes them pop. All you do is you pull up a photo in the app and then you draw on top of it. And it's quite generous, I'm not a brilliant artist, but it makes me look quite good. You then click next, and the app creates this looping animation of your drawing. I think it would make quite a cool Instagram story, especially if you were going to post that plain image anyway. We've then got Afterglow, which is a newish icon pack based on pastel colours and high vibrance. Each icon has a really subtle glow, and I think it's an amazing balance of sticking to what works in terms of material design, but then also pushing the boat out just enough to feel fresh. So, I think I've ended up giving you guys 11 apps, I got a bit carried away while filming, but nonetheless, if you enjoy the video, a sub would be massively appreciated, and I will catch you in the next one.